collections come bigger, collections come more expensive. But I dare you to try and find a collection more fun, more obnoxious than my outerwear collection. Let's go. Hello, 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 and the warmest of welcome to today's video. For those of you who haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Nick, fab to have you here. For those who have seen my face before, thank you so much for joining me again. I hope you enjoy my videos. I put out videos roughly three times a week on a range of different topics, anywhere from fashion, slightly more personal topics. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do head down, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. I love chatting with you all. I'm all about living life loud, and what that means to me is being your authentic self, being proud to be you, and just celebrating who you are. Celebrating yourself, and of course, celebrating others. So, the flying bag means that there is a poppy in our midst. Isn't, isn't it, princess? And here she is. Say hi to the nice people. Say hi. Yes. Okay, you can get down. Okay, bye-bye. Nice to see you. So, let's put that back. Oh, it's not going to go back, actually. Everything's been knocked over, but it's fine. Um, bag of the day. <sighs> Using this again, it is the MCM Orange Shopper in the Cubic Camouflage print. Fun, fabulous, I say it all the time. So, before we get into that, I've bought some pieces that actually I'm going to share with you. I did a little mini ASOS haul. Why don't I quickly share that with you? Okay, so it all came in this box here. There's a few pieces. I think I did the two orders separately, um, very quickly, in very quick succession. And I'm hoping that they packaged everything together. But, you know, let's open it out. Let's see. The boxes are kind of cool. I like how they've done the box. Um, okay. We've got a few things in here. So what have we got? So these are tapered trousers with a cargo pocket. And the reason that I liked the idea of these is because I like that more formal material um, and I like the taper. I think that's very flattering on the leg. But then I liked this cargo pocket. I have a pair in grey, actually, that are very similar to this. Maybe they're actually the same and they're just in grey. But I wear them quite a lot um, and I like them a lot. So let's give those a go i'll see if i can take some photos of some of this stuff in use i'm gonna put that there what have we got here i think this might just be a plain black t-shirt i love just wearing it is just as like an under layer just a plain black t-shirt this is a muscle fit and don't get me wrong that isn't me complimenting myself saying that i'm muscular because i'm not but I just find as an underlayer to go under a jacket, for example, that isn't coming off, um, it makes a lot of sense to have the muscle fits because they're very tight to the body. So they they suit as an underlayer. What have we got here? What are these? What are these? Trousers. I don't think these are mine. Oh, oh, I know what this is. Oh, it's the thin black jacket. So this is now like my third or fourth kind of black jacket, but this one's quite thin. Um, and I thought this would be quite nice, really for like an outfit like I'm wearing today. So I like to have a few black jackets that are on rotation. I have one that cuts more of a silhouette than in others. I have one that is a little bit more of a relaxed fit. This will be somewhere in the middle. So we've got that. So I'll try that and let you know what I think. Uh, we'll do those last. Uh. Okay, that wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Okay, another jacket. Which again, I'll just need to try on. Let's see. I thought this looks almost a bit more like a hound's tooth, but that wasn't quite what I wanted. So, sorry, puppy. So it's like a black and white jacket, sort of a bit more oversized. As you can see, it's double breasted. Um, so yeah, but I thought, I actually thought that the pattern was bigger um, than it is. So this looks almost a bit more like a mock kind of hound's tooth. Look, I'll try it on. 
maybe with some black jeans or something that would look quite nice or with the cargoes i actually bought some of this to kind of go together and then the piece that i'm really hoping works nicely is these you all know i love a stiletto poppy has a new box do you like it do you like it Oh my gosh, look at these. Ah, oh. fabulous. So these are a 100 millimeter pump. I think they're 100 millimeter. Or are they 85? I'm not sure actually, maybe I'll check. So these are from ASOS Design. Which, wait. Oh, let me see. Fairly sensible heel height. Love them. Okay, those are great. Again, I'll show you. I'll show you what this stuff looks like on. Um, don't getting all caught up. This is all very chaotic. Sorry. You don't come here for the really glamorous, sophisticated, sponsored unboxings, do you? <laughs> Not that this is sponsored, by the way. Uh, <laughs> if it was, they would be going cancel the sponsorship. Is chaos. So thankfully it's not sponsored, but there you go. So those are those two shoes together. Baby, look at this. Big cat print. Do you like? She doesn't like heels. Whenever I put um heels on and walk in them, she really, really hates them. She gets very nervous around them. Um so but that's fine, she doesn't have to wear them. I know a lot of people get nervous around heels. I think these might be 85s, you know. So that's an 100. I think they are. <gasps> Ooh, have I inadvertently bought a low heel? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, let's give them a go. 85s. I don't own a pair of 85s. I've always said I'd never go below 100. I thought they were 100. Let's try them. Okay, so that's my mini and chaotic ASOS haul. Now let's quickly rattle through my very extensive and a little bit obnoxious outerwear collection and i love outerwear because i just think you can throw this on over any outfit and you can add a pop of color you can add some shape you can add some dimension you can pull an outfit together and i love a good piece of outerwear and for that i'm not talking blazers or anything along those lines i'm talking jackets coats anything that really when you come in the door you would probably take off you know i'm thinking that as outerwear but of course in a lot of instances if it's part of the look then you will continue to wear this. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's start here. This is a very simple one. I love a gilet or a sleeveless jacket. Um, and this one is just a very simple Jack Wills in white. Um, I love to throw this on when I'm just going for a walk. It's been great in summer because you still feel like if it's a little bit chillier in the evening, for example, you're covered, but sort of arms are out, which I, I feel much more comfortable with. I just, for some reason, like my body to be covered, but I'm okay if my arms are out like they like they are today. Um, so yeah, so you've got that one from Jack Wills. I have this one, which I wear a lot from Crew, I want to say. Is this one Crew? Yep, Crew. Love the green. This is a similar green to that Longchamp travel bag that I recently shared with you. And I think it's absolutely fabulous. Um, I've used this when I've been exercising. I've been using, I've used this when I've been out and about. Love this as a compliment to pink. So to be fair, I could probably wear it with the trousers I'm wearing today. So there's that one. And then the one that you probably see me wearing the most is this. Again, this is from Jack Wills. I've had this going on 10 years and I absolutely love it. I bought it at Bista so many years ago and I just think it's fantastic. It's my grab and go when I'm just running to the shops, when I just need to go out or I'm going for a walk or something, grab this. It's brilliant. It's cozy. It's got a hood that's detachable. Um, it's brilliant. Another one that I've owned for a long time that I absolutely love, and it's a classic, but I love how I can style this. And this is from the brand Hawes & Curtis. If you don't know Hawes & Curtis, they make a lot of um, tailoring. They do a lot of tailoring. Their sister company was Ghost, if you'd ever heard of Ghost. And it is this gorgeous, gorgeous um, kind of checked jacket with this beautiful purple collar and this gorgeous purple interior unfortunately i need to rehook that 
because it's not ripped, but that's come off the hook. Um, so I need to rehook that, but it's just beautiful. I love wearing this. I have a pink jumper that I bought in Stuttgart back in 2018 that I love wearing this with. I think they go so well together, but this is gorgeous and classic. You can style it in so many ways. I love that you can bring a bit of colour into it, additionally on top of the purple and the greens, which is slightly more classic, um, or you can wear it in a very classic way, so it's beautiful. Definitely not a classic piece, not one I wear very often either. This was fairly inexpensive, this was from ASOS, but it's great fun. Um, so it's from br the brand Another Influence, but I bought it on ASOS, and it is just this big leopard print in kind of a grey and black. It's just a little bit of fun. Would it go with the heels? Probably too much. Probably too... Uh, does it go? Is it a clash? I don't know. But it's a nice length of jacket. Um, easy to use. Easy to wear. And for what I paid for it, I've not worn it that much, but I'm okay with it. It's fun for when I do. Get compliments on it. It's a nice... A piece that I get shouted at a lot because I don't wear it very often and people often say to me, how can you not wear it? I just don't. And it is my... <laughs> Burberry trench in this icy blue colour. Is it a beautiful coat? Yes. Do I feel comfortable wearing it? Not really. I don't know why. There's something about it. And I keep saying I'm going to challenge myself to style it more, but I just struggle with it. And it's gorgeous. I struggle to let it go, but I struggle to wear it. So I'm hoping there's a point in time that I feel much more comfortable with this particular jacket. At the moment, it's just not winning me over. But am I in a place to let it go? No, because I think that these Burberry jackets are ones that can last you a lifetime. I don't see myself owning more than this particular one. So I'm going to hold on to this for now. The money's been spent. I'm going to use it maybe at some point in time. Who knows? So another piece from Horse and Curtis that I really like because it's a great base layer that you can dress up and amp up with accessories. And it is this sort of navy blue, very simple trench coat. Would this be any good in the rain? Not really, but is it just a really nice, sophisticated jacket? Absolutely. Um, I, I don't wear it very often, to be honest. It's not really my style. I don't find the styling of this particularly easy. It's also reminiscent of a time where I used to be able to wear a 38. Those days have passed. Um, I hope maybe I'll get back to those days, but they've passed for now. Um, but it's a beautiful, beautiful jacket. Um, very simple, very sophisticated. I used to wear this a lot. So the fact that I don't wear this very much now, I don't have much regret over because I used to wear this a significant amount. But would I like to get back into it? Yeah, I would. Let's round that style of coat off with one that really packs a punch before we get into the pieces that are probably much more my style these days. Look at this incredible Devil's Advocate jacket. Look at the colour. This yellow is just phenomenal. It's like a wool coat. It's beautifully made. It's so warm. It's gorgeous to wear. Has this lovely interior that has a bee print on it. These huge pockets. This is stunning. I love this draped over the shoulders. I just think this is an absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal coat. I love um, Devil's Advocate pieces. As you know, I wear a lot of the um, sort of designs clothes. This is just, as soon as I saw it, I just had to have it. I thought it was fantastic. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Is it a colour I wear very often? No. But is it a piece that makes me smile when I do? Absolutely. And I try to not wear it too often. But this with my black Mulberry base water as an example are a beautiful combination because you have the subtlety and elegance of the Mulberry base water, which still has a little bit of a fun twist because it's mock croc. And then this is a very beautiful shape but look at this incredible colour. Gorgeous. I love this piece. Now, a style of coat that is something I just absolutely love. I do have more than the ones I'm going to show you. I have a black version and a green version from Zara, like a lime green. But the two of this style that I'm going to show you are my Karl Lagerfelds. And these are my Karl Lagerfeld puffer jackets. I've worn these a lot, and you have probably seen me wearing these a fair amount. This one in particular, I used to wear a huge, huge amount. Now that winter is coming, I will um, be wearing this much more. I love this coat. I love it so much. I really enjoy it with the Trippy Tiger Bays water as well. I think they work so well together. I bought them at around similar times. I've styled them a lot. I think this goes really well with bleach blonde hair. 
beautiful, beautiful coat. I bought this on a whim and I remember feeling a bit sick because it was like 200 and something pounds, which was more than I'd ever really spent on a coat before. Um, and especially as I was just really starting to try puffer jackets, I'd never really worn them before. So it felt ridiculous to spend over 200 pounds on one but I've gotten so much use out of it. I have no regrets on it. So much so that when the opportunity presented itself to buy another, I did. And I bought this fabulous colour block. Now this came in two colours. There was a pink and there was the white. I went to buy the pink, um, but it sold out in my size. And then I decided that I was going to buy the white and I've been loving this. I bought this at the start of the year. So I didn't get a huge amount of wear out of it um, at the start of the year. I did wear it, which I really enjoyed, with my um, leopard print Mulberry Bays water, patent Mulberry Bays water. I'll insert a photo, but it's just this great colour block. I love puffer jackets because they just exaggerate your shape, um, and I really enjoy that about them. I think there is just something very flattering about them, um, and I, I enjoy wearing them. I know they're not everyone's cup of tea. I know that they're not the most sophisticated jacket you could ever wear, but don't get me wrong, I'm not wearing these to a black tie gala. Um, I'm not wearing them to formal occasions, but in terms of running around, feeling chic, feeling stylish, these do the trick for me. And let's get into my favourite category of jacket. Ah, again, you see me wear these a lot. These are really the kind of obnoxious part of this. Um, I mean, there's a few in there that are very OTT, but this is where it gets really good. Let's start with the one that kicked it all off. We're into faux fur. And look at this Karl Lagerfeld pink faux fur. Isn't this just divine? Look at it. Look at the colour. Look at the shine on it. This is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Um, I wear this actually quite a lot when I go out on nights out because it's just fun and playful. It always gets compliments. It always gets comments. This is a jacket that I wear when I'm just in a I don't give a bleep what anyone thinks of me kind of mood. Um, I just want to go all out and amuse myself because I say fashion is about amusing yourself and this I very much do it. Those of you who've been with me for a while know the story of this. I walked in, saw it on the hangar um, and thought oh my goodness I love that jacket so much. It's going to be extortionate. Thought it was going to be hundreds of pounds. Walked up to it, it was something like £90. Then they had an additional sale on top, but the jacket was a medium. And I said, okay, let's just ask, do you happen to have it in an XL? And they said, yes. I went, please, please show me it, show me it. I put it on, it fit. It was a love story. It was like a Cinderella putting on the slipper moment. And there's Poppy, hi Pops. Um, it was just like this amazing moment where just the stars aligned and it went, ah! And I said, wrap it up. I have to have it. And I bought the K Pura pouch at the same time, which wasn't such a success, but I still own it. Um, but oh, this is just gorge. Oh, love it. Beautiful, beautiful. Then the next one that I bought, I was in TK Maxx and I saw this and sort of had another kind of moment where I went, I love it, but I'm not 100%. Like how many faux furs do you need? I had the one and I thought maybe that's just a little bit excessive you know, to have two, when am I really wearing them? Turns out everywhere, um, spoiler alert. But I saw this and I remember saying to my mum, if it is, I think I said, if it's 50 pounds, I'll buy it. Because it didn't have a price on it. I said, if it's 50 pounds, I'll buy it. And then we got to the till and I said, how much is it? And I think it was something like 89 pounds. And I went, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I think my mum was going, but you said you weren't going to buy it if it was a certain price. And I went, yeah, but just look at it and just feel it. And oh my goodness. And have I worn this a ton? Absolutely. I've gotten my money back from this coat. It is gorgeous. This is by the brand Jack. This is stunning. It's so soft. The blue is incredible. Oh, I love it. Let's keep things moving because this is the one I then bought directly from the website. Different style but still as glorious. Oh, look at it. I can't remember the style names of these. I'm really sorry. This one's a bit more of a cropped style. It's not cropped. It hits my hip, 
but the um, blue is goes a little bit further down, kind of down to sort of halfway down my thigh. Whereas this one is a little bit shorter and it's a bit more almost oversized on the body. It's a bit more um, OTT in terms of how it puffs out your silhouette. And it's just this most gorgeous green, but it is so unbelievably soft. Like I can't even tell you. It is so gorgeous and beautiful. I love it. You know, I love to wear this with more subtle outfits. I love to wear this with pink. This can be very much more is more. That's what I love about faux fur, is it can just be more is more. I apologize, you can hear the cat in her litter tray. One that I won't dwell on too much because I only shared it with you recently, but it is this fabulous, fabulous coat from Karl Lagerfeld, another Karl Lagerfeld. I love this jacket and I feel really glad to have got it because um, the Karl Lagerfeld store at Vista closed recently, so I must have only picked this up a couple of days before it was closing. And I had no clue the store was closing. No one even mentioned it because actually I probably would have bought more had I have known that that was happening um, because I love Karl Lagerfeld pieces. I, I always have. So, um, I mean, of course I can just buy online through the normal store, but um, I love the Vista store. But yeah, it's this slightly longer black faux fur. I've been looking for one for a little while. I was thinking of buying one from Jack. Then I happened to see this one and I absolutely love it. Price point wise, I think it was, how much did I say it was? Was it 90 pounds? Was it something like that? 89? I can't remember. I mentioned it in a video, um, but it was, it was really not unreasonable in terms of the price point, um, but it's gorgeous and soft and very kind of, I think this is quite glamorous. Um, I think there's something quite sexy about this. As a, as a coat. I, I love it. I think it's obnoxious in the best kind of way, in a subtle way. Like I said, it's very sexy. It's very sort of desperate housewives. Like, I love that. I love that. Fabulous. And to round us out, another fabulous jacket. Oh, look at my latest edition. So this is from Jack as well. So this is the same style as the green, which I have a feeling might be called the Rita. And I think the blue might be called the Heather, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I just love this. So I bought this one from the Outnet. I'm obsessed with the print. I think that the color is gorgeous. I love this pink. It's so beautiful with the um, black kind of big cat print. I'm not gonna hazard a guess as to which big cat this is. It's just stunning. I love how it's over exaggerated. I love the huge collar. They're so warm. They are sexy. They are glamorous. They are fun. You can wear these with a more formal outfit. You can wear them with a more casual outfit. I wore this, funnily enough, to drive up to Edinburgh um, the other week. And I wore it with, what did I wear it with? A black t-shirt, black jeans, white trainers, and my antique pink Mulberry Bays water, and my pink Lacoste sunglasses, um, and my black Lacoste cap, white Lacoste cap, black Lacoste cap, um, and I loved it. I loved the, the mixture of textures. I loved how the pink was tied in with the pink of the bag, but then you had everything else that was black. I thought it was a great, I thought it was a great look, if I do say so myself. It was casual, but it was fun. It had some sort of sexy elements to it. So I thought this was great. I have a feeling this was about 80 or 90 pounds from the outlet. They have quite a lot of jack pieces on there. I love it. I think it's gorgeous. Very over the top, very unnecessary. But do you know what? Faux fur and a lot of the pieces that I've shown you, the bright yellow Devil's Advocate coat, the um, Karl Lagerfeld puffer jackets, um, you know, a lot of this stuff is very OTT, is very unnecessary. But I think you can have fun with this. And I love the fact that outerwear, you can take it off and completely transform the outfit. So having the coat creates one look. You take it off and as long as you're comfortable with what you've um, put together underneath, then you've got a whole different look. And then you put the coat back on and your look's different again. So I like that about outerwear. I think it could be really fun, really playful. I think people always know that when I rock up, I'm going to rock up in a great blazer or a great coat. Um, just because for me, jackets, outerwear, they are very much part of my signature. Um, shoes, outerwear, bags, love them all. I do love clothes, don't get me wrong, I love accessories. But those three things, I think, really do pull an outfit together um, in, my, in my wardrobe. So there we have it, everyone. Let me know what you think. 
Do you have the same sort of love of outerwear as I do? Do you have some really fun out there pieces like myself? Um, do you have a particular style that works for you, be it trench coats, faux furs, puffer jackets, gilets, um, crop denim jackets? You know, I don't own anything like a denim or a leather jacket. Maybe leather jackets are very much your thing. I don't own one personally. Um, who knows? Maybe that's something I need to look into. But let me know what you think. Let me know what you're loving. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye now. Mwah.